10 more reasons to move to Moodle 2. This presentation is a second in a sequence of three presentations, so be sure to check out the other two. The Moodle 2 contained a significant number of compelling new features. Moodle 2.1, released in July, also pushed the feature list to improve the platform. Between them, Moodle 2 now has a large range of feature improvements over Moodle 1.9. So what are the top 10? Which of those are the most important and most significant? Join me in this road of exploration through some of the Moodle 2 features. With Moodle 2, each user gets a private files area, which provides them with some storage within Moodle for their files. They can upload their files through the web interface of Moodle, and with the new native iPhone app, users can also upload media including images, video, and recorded audio directly from their iPhone into their private file space. Users can also use the files in their Moodle work, forum posts, assignments, and can also manage their files easily by creating folders, moving, deleting, and renaming the files as required. Adding files to Moodle 2 is much easier now with the new File Picker interface. Users can import or link to files easily from external repositories, such as Flickr, or upload a new file from their desktop. Users can also quickly access all files in other courses throughout the Moodle site that they have access to. Managing plugins with Moodle 2 is now simplified. There is a new improved plugins overview page, which helps provide a good view of what plugins are installed and enabled at a quick glance. The authentication and enrollment options are now also managed under plugins, providing a more structured approach in those areas. The much used lesson activity has been revitalized with increased standardization of the forms and a reworked code base. This provides a nice consistent experience for those path-based lessons. Users will find the blogs in Moodle 2 very useful. You can now blog on anything, be it a course, a resource, an activity, or just the weather. Users can also synchronize the import of existing blog posts from an external blog such as WordPress or Blogger. With Moodle 2, you have the option to integrate with a range of third-party content repositories. There are many repository integrations included with Moodle 2, including Box.net, Dropbox, Flickr, YouTube, and Google Docs. Students and teachers alike can store and manage their content in those repositories using those repository features and then just import it into Moodle when they need to. In Moodle, setting up activities to be the way you want can sometimes take a while. It is now simple to clone an existing activity in a course. This takes away the stress from having to set up multiple similar activities for different groupings as you can just clone and tweak. Systems administrators and integrators can now take an advantage of a full suite of integration options in Moodle, especially by using the new web services, which work using a range of methods. The scope of these can be demonstrated in the native iPhone app, which uses key web services to complete a range of actions including authentication and upload of content. The eagerly awaited native iPhone app has been released on iTunes. When you download the My Moodle mobile app for the first time, it will prompt you for your site URL, your username and your password. Although it is only available for the iOS right now, there are plans to have the Android developed as well. There are some new admin reports in Moodle too. It is possible to get a list of all the current comments added to pages. There is a config report which shows a useful audit trail for any config changes that were made, showing the original value, the new value, who and when this was changed. And a new question instances report lists all the places a specific question type is used. This shows both hidden and visible instances of the question type usage. So that was it. 10 more reasons to move to Moodle 2. This presentation is a second in a sequence of three presentations, so be sure to check out the other two. And feel free to check out my blog on someRandomThoughts.com for more information. Or follow me on Twitter, SlideShare or LinkedIn. Thank you.